Hello folks, as it's a Friday night, we've come to an area called Poblacion here in Makati, which is really renowned for its nightlife. And we're gonna to start today's video by checking out a 50s inspired cafe and restaurant, which is just behind me called the filling station. So let's go right inside. So is this the queue? No, no. What's up? Don't, don't go inside. It's not good for you. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, it is. Oh. Thank you. Wow. Hello, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Damn, there isn't an inch on the walls or on the ceilings that doesn't have some sort of 50s inspired decoration. This place is crazy. There's so much neon lights of assorted colors. You've got red, green, blue, a few violet, pink, purple lights. It's stunning. And positioned randomly around the restaurant, you've got really vintage vehicles. Like this BMW motorbike here. This sofa, that's the rear end of a Cadillac. <laughs> We've got Chucky here. Hello. Hello, Chucky. How you doing? <laughs> Ronald McDonald. Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken himself. Marilyn Monroe, we've already seen. Hello. Elvis Presley, just behind Chucky there. Yeah, that's a real Elvis. American comfort food and also Filipino food in really big hearty portions so uh, you're definitely gonna get your belly full if you visit this place the only thing is though this place is very popular and uh, when we check downstairs there's a waiting queue for about an hour to get yourself a table here look at the folks over here they're dining on an old Ford car these sort of overly top decorated uh, retro vintage vibe restaurants Oh, some of my favorite restaurants to go to. This place is actually an exclusive area uh, where only people who've reserved it can access it. But in this area, you've got this full-size Cadillac to which you can actually dine in, in the cabin area. There's so many superheroes about as well. Goodness me, they've done an absolutely stellar job of decorating this place. One of the most elaborately detailed restaurants I've seen in my entire life. Hello, Batman, how are you? Protect McCarty, please. <laughs> As this place is so busy on a Friday, uh, we're probably going to have to go elsewhere or wait for an hour until we can get a table to eat. How, how long have you, sir? <laughs> I've been long it's not moving. Not moving, yeah? Stayed same, yeah? Oh, Lord. All right. While we waited for our turn in queue to eat at the filling station, we decided to check out what was happening next door. Oh, hello, ma'am. I like your outfit. Very good. Uh, can I have a drink, yeah? Yeah? All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Welcome. Hello, how are you? Is it table for how many, sir? Two. Table And so as we sit here and wait for time to pass, let's rewind back to earlier today when I had to pay the Immigration Bureau a visit to extend yeah, my visa. I? An application form from where? There. Uh -huh. Okay. And then sign here, yeah? I am a blogger, yeah. Okay, after 4,000 pesos and about an hour to an hour and a half of uh, processing time and uh, extending my visa, we're finally done. And we're now gonna go. Hello, how are you? You wanna be in the vlog? Yeah. Hello, say, say your hello. <laughs> but first, we're gonna walk back to our hotel in Bonondo and uh, drop some of the documents that we received from uh, the Immigration Bureau. It's actually really convenient because it's just uh, located across 
the Pasig River from where we're staying. Hello, how are you? You okay? What is that melon? <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have to uh, walk back. I would have taken a tricycle back, but we're running really low on pesos here in the Philippines. And uh, neither me nor my partner have a functioning credit card that can withdraw money here. So uh, we're in a bit of a dilemma at the moment. So if we want to kind of commute anywhere or take a taxi anywhere, we have to go through Grab Taxi. Oh, There's Port Santiago, right? Yeah, man. There's Port Santiago, right? Port Santiago. Yeah. I've not visited, but I recognize it. I, I should visit, I should visit. Hello, how are you? <laughs> We've come to our local Starbucks because uh, we're trying to figure out what to do about our cash problem. Hello, my boy. Huh? You missed that? Hello? You missed daddy? We've just come out of uh, Cafe Cubana, which is actually part of uh, the same kind of franchise as the filling station. This place has got really good vibes, nice drinks. Um, it's Cuban inspired. Everyone's like wearing um, a kind of Cuban military outfit. Yeah, it's good. Look at this folks. We're gonna be eating on this old Ford car. Woo. Wow. Madam, sit wherever you like. Full tank here? Yeah? All right, thank you very much. We'll be going on a road trip now. All right, all aboard, beep, beep. There we go. Oh, hey. We're sat over there on that old Ford vehicle, which uh, I still can't identify what model it is. To eat there, it's 2,000 pesos. You have to spend a minimum of 2,000. And we're gonna try and work the bill up to that price. Wait, even the lights work? Oh yeah, it's just a model, a replica. Not a real actual functioning vehicle. I did say the portion size were massive, and they are. Look at this. I also ordered three mini burgers. Look at them, it's so good. such a good hot dog. I've got ketchup, mustard, um, some pickles, bacon in there, and one long massive sausage. Oh. Sounds so similar to my name, Mergim. Uh, Alright, nice to meet you guys. Hello, Chucky. How are you? You scared the living daylights out of me. Well, folks, I'm going to be wrapping up today's video here. If you enjoyed, 
uh, this video on the filling station make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video and share this video with friends and family and i will see you in the next video here on the channel many thanks for watching guys take care bye for now